Oliver and his brake fan Toad liked working in the big yards. One morning, Toad noticed that Oliver was unhappy. He decided to find out why. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Oliver, but it seems that things are not well with you. If you ever forgive, forgive me for mentioning it. You're quite right, Toad. All I do is shunt these trucks onto the turntable. I long for a nice run. It's what an engine really needs. Quite so, Mr. Oliver. I suggest you speak to Sir Tom Hatt about your problems. Oliver just grew unhappier. And he was rough with the trucks. You're no good, Oliver. You're dangerous. We want Percy. Pa! Percy's way too busy to be bothered with the likes of you. And he bumped the trucks hard. You silly engine! It'll take a long time to repair this turntable, which will cause confusion and delay. That night, the Fat Controller came to see Oliver in the shed. Oliver, yours caused confusion. I thought you could control trucks. You shall work the mail train for a while. Maybe the night air will clear your smoke box. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir, said Oliver. Cheer up, old chap, said Oliver's driver. The mail train is a grand run for a fine engine like you. Oliver smiled, but he still felt he'd let everyone down. His driver took them along the coastal run with the mail train. The sea was calm and the fresh air could help but brighten all of his spirits. They made good speed until it was time to collect some important mail from Harold the helicopter. Come on, Harold! They waited and waited. At last, Harold landed. Sorry, Great Weston. I had a bit of trouble with one of my arms. It kept letting me down when I was, uh, supposed to be up. You know how it is. We know that we'll be late for our first run, replied Oliver's driver. Soon they were on their way again. Ahead was a red signal light. Oliver didn't realize that the signal men had dozed off waiting for them. Oliver whistled several times, but the signal stayed red. There must be something wrong with that signal. We'll go slowly and stop by the signal box, said Oliver's driver. But they never reached it. The points before the signal box were switched to an old track. They were going the wrong way! Oliver's firemen had become concerned. We need to find a water tower soon. Instead, they saw an old, run-down station. Disaster lay ahead! <laughs> Meanwhile, the Fat Controller was very worried. Oliver has not returned. We better send out a search party. Soon he was high in the sky with Harold the Helicopter. There they are! It wasn't Oliver's fault, sir, said the driver. I'm aware of that, and I'm just glad you all are safe. Then he saw something. It was an empty old house beside the station. He went to inspect it. When he returned, he spoke to Oliver. Oliver, you have found another attraction for our island. We'll make this house good as new and visitors can come and have tea and crumpets here. Mmm, sighed Oliver. Getting lost can be interesting, but being found is so much nicer. Especially when it makes an engine feel really useful.